Wanna feel your hands all on my body And I wrap my legs so tight you got me Wanna feel the tingle down my spine Oh you know that's when I cry my life welcome back to another moving vlog guys it is national get your ass up and start cleaning day um otherwise saturday morning <laughs> so today i'm gonna be cleaning my bathroom finally organizing and hanging this stuff up because it's long overdue and we're gonna make this bed and we're gonna do laundry and we're just gonna clean up so let's skip all of this and just get into it if you're new here welcome to the gang make sure you hit that subscribe button below like comment and share and let's start cleaning all right gang we finally finna get into this bed because i have waited long enough <laughs> i just wanted to wait until you know i got all my stuff together like my sheets my new pillows and stuff like that um i did get a new mattress which you will see a clip of that in a minute but right now i'm just taking all the stuff off my bed it was a hot mess but i'm way more organized um and this video was like two weeks ago so i have so much more stuff in my room now like nightstands and lamps and little decor and stuff so we'll get to that video eventually but for now this is what we're gonna be working with <laughs> so like i said i'm taking all the stuff off these are like blankets and sheets from my last apartment um but i did get some new sheets again you will see that in um a few clips and i will link everything down below so that y'all can you know click away and start shopping with me Okay, this is my bed, the Sealy Hybrid. Um, it's foam top. And then I got some silk sheets. Um, they're a taupe color. Um, they are from Amazon. I'll, like I said, I'll link those down below so you guys can buy those. And I'm just gonna put them on my bed. The hardest thing, let me know if y'all the same way. The hardest thing is folding and putting on your fitted sheet. Like, I don't know who made that so difficult, but I be struggling. And sorry about my hair y'all i had just taken out some cornrows from like february so embarrassed not really <laughs> but yeah this gets done eventually not in this video but i got my hair done So these sheets are really nice. Um, I've slept on them most, you know, since this video. Because like I said, it's been two weeks since I filmed this. The only thing I will say about them is that the sides are a little short. Maybe because my mattress is so thick. Because like I said, it is a hybrid. So it's like a regular mattress with a foam top. Um, so that could be the issue. If you have, you know, like your standard or traditional mattress, you should be alright. But... For me, I was struggling trying to tuck these sides because it was only like an inch, inch and a half like border. Now the bottom part, that was fine. I had enough room um, there, but the sides, I was struggling. So like when I go to sleep at night and I get in my bed, they always like come untucked, which I mean, I don't really care about, but just something to note. And I like to tuck the corner of my bed i don't know if this is hospital style or military i don't know i just grew up tucking the sides of my bed like that i got these pillows from home goods these are the ralph lauren um pillows i get firm density um because i was in an accident recently so firm my bed is also firm um but it's still really soft um but I get those just for like the neck and back support. And these are king pillows. Um, they were $24.99. Again, I got these at Home Goods. Thank you. 
If you look at these pillowcases, they do look too big for these king pillows. So since this video, I did go out and buy some more from Target. I'll link those down below. Um, and they fit a lot better. Like it's not so much space on the end of the pillowcase. Like how you see it hanging hang there. So just wanted to let you know that too. Now my comforter, <laughs> everything I feel like is from Home Goods, but this is by um, Nicole Miller. This is a king size um, comforter set. It did come with the comforter and two decorative shams. It was $79.99. Um, you can see here it has the one comforter and the two king shams. Um, I did wash this before I put it on my bed. So I will say <laughs> if you have a washer and dryer in your house, it's not primarily going to fit you know a king size comforter so you may have to go to the laundromat that's what I had to do but I kind of like the laundromat I guess growing up going there is still kind of fun to me but yeah and I actually struggled with like trying to figure out how I wanted to fold my comforter on my bed because I'm not the person that like has their comforter all the way to the top that's not me like and I kind of wanted to go for like a luxury hotel type you know feel so i wanted to like fold it because you know when you go into the hotel room they fold it up real cute you have your little blanket you know the vibes And here I'm just showing y'all what the um, shams look like up close. This is also the texture that's on the comforter too. The shams are also king. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that, but the pillows that I'm putting in them right now are standard queen size pillows. So like I said, I did go purchase some other king pillows. So the ones that are in the gold or taupe silk um, pillowcases are now in those white shams. And then my new king pillows are in the, um, the taupe silk shams or pillowcase. All right, y'all, so I finished making my bed so far. I still gotta get like throw pillows and all that, but the bed is made, so let me show y'all. <laughs> all right, so, uh-oh, stepping on trash, dang. But <laughs> y'all seen the, let me come on this side because now we got some light. Okay, mm, we still don't. <laughs> whatever y'all so we got the white comforter and it came with two shams and then like i said i got the um sheets from amazon they're like a gold taupey color but i want to get three european pillows and i'm gonna get black covers for them and then i feel like i want like one of those long um decorative pillows to put right there and then i need to wash my blanket but that'll be down here and i think i want like a little bed tray i don't know something bougie but we're gonna get into this bathroom. I can't stand this fan, so it's gonna be a time lapse. <laughs> what do I always like time lapse? Time lapse and voiceover. So let's get into the bathroom. Okay, now we're in the bathroom, about to clean this up. I always start with my tub slash shower, and I always put my shower curtain up because, I don't know, it just gets in the way. So here I'm just moving, I mean, removing all the stuff from my shower, my um, washcloth, my African net, uh, my body scrubs, body washes, all that. Um, using the foaming tub and towel cleaner for Method. Um, again, I'll link the stuff down below, but you can get all of this stuff at Target. That's where I went to get mine. So I'm just spraying everything. Got my Comet. If you black, you know. <laughs> Sprinkle that in the tub. Let it sit a little bit. Of course, we're going to add a little Fabuloso too, because how you going to clean without the Comet and Fabuloso? I mean, you can use Pine Sol. I use that too, but today we're using the Lavender Scent Fabuloso. 
Now I'm just using uh, my microfiber cloth. I got a pack of 12 um, of these from Home Goods. Um, before I moved in, this is what I started cleaning out my house with, like when I first moved in. So I'm just using that. Um, wipe down everything, <laughs> really. All the tiles, the tub, the handles, the soap uh, thing right there, the towel bar, all of that. Wipe it all down the outside. So if you don't wipe the outside of your tub, the bottom of your toilet, toilet and underneath all that i cannot trust you let me know if y'all <laughs> if y'all clean the bottom of y'all toilet too and the outside of y'all tub and once i wash everything i you know uh, rinse out the cloth or the rag with hot water i squeeze it out and then i just wipe everything down just so there's no like lingering products and stuff when i get in the shower um and i do use their daily um shower spray every day when i get out of the shower Okay, so these are the shower caddies that I got for my shower from Amazon. It comes in a pack of two. Um, it has these little stickers. I did get the adhesive ones. I didn't want anything I had to drill or something that I could hang over the actual um, shower head because I plan to put some eucalyptus leaves up there. But here I'm just showing you how to install it. Um, you peel off the little clear backing and I had already measured, measured where I wanted the stickies to go and based on where I wanted the caddies to um, sit so just watch me put them up there And make sure if you get these that you press it really good so that he really sticks and then you just pop your little shelf in there and boom there you go Now I'm going to start putting the stuff that I use uh, either daily or weekly in the shower. So I got all kinds of different body washes um, and stuff like that, body scrubs. Um, I do use the Dr. Bronner's um, lavender, peppermint, and tea tree one. I like to mix. I don't know what y'all do, but I like to mix stuff in the shower. <laughs> um, I do use the Sensitive Skin Dove. I use the other ones too, but primarily that one. Then I got my um, European Wax Center um, body polish and stuff. Honey Pot, period. I do have the Sensitive one. I just had to use this one up first. Um, now we're on to the toilet. And like I said, make sure y'all cleaning the outside of y'all toilet too. But we're going to put the toilet bowl cleaner, the Comet. Um, I use some antibacterial spray for Method as well. Just because your toilet has germs. I mean, I know your everything has germs, especially in the bathroom. But, you know, your toilet and your sink, yeah, you need to handle that. See, I'm wiping the outside, wiping in all the creases and crevices. Make sure you wipe underneath the lid, underneath the sink. Make sure you get that handle. Don't play with it. Stay with it. You need to get everything. But I don't wipe 
or wash the inside with my cloth I have a separate little tool that I use for that which you will see in a minute and let me tell y'all about this little blue stuff right there in the toilet because <laughs> I got the little jelly stuff that you're supposed to like squeeze in there and I messed up and pressed it too hard so all of the stuff came out and like now it starts to get stained on one part like I don't know I don't know if that's pee girl I don't know I don't know what it is but we need to get that out of there and fix it Okay, so here is the thing that I was saying, the little tool or whatever that I use to scrub the inside of my toilet. I don't really know the name of it, but like I said, I will put it down below in the description so that y'all can look at it and go copy one if you want to clean your toilet with it. And it's super easy to use. It comes with the wand and that little stand. You just push the wand in there, pick up one of the little pads, and scrub away. And when you're done, you just press the blue button and shoot it in the trash. Do not flush this, okay? Put it in the trash. Do not flush this down your toilet. Put it in the trash. Okay, see, look, I'm living by the words that I'm telling y'all. Put it in the trash. Don't put it down the toilet. And yeah, we done. Flush that bad boy and the toilet is clean. I didn't show y'all me washing the outside or the bottoms. I'm sorry, but I definitely did do that because I don't play. Yes, more decor. Okay, so we went to TJ Maxx and I had got some towels. I wanted like a little spa situation going. So I got some all white towels. I cannot read the name of that even on the screen. So I'm going to have to figure that out and put that in the description because I don't know. But these towels were $5.99. Um, these were the bath sheets. Um, I got those and I got two, I guess, like hand towels. Um, because I wanted to put them like that, but I didn't realize that my towel bar was so close to my toilet and it would be fine But I have something that I'm putting on top of the toilet, which you'll see um, Later on so child I had to go figure out how I was gonna fold them So yeah, this is what I was putting on a toilet It's just you know a little feminine cares cuz I don't like when I go to people's house and I You know start my cycle or I'm on my cycle and I didn't bring my purse uh, to the bathroom and you know I need something so I'm a woman at the end of the day <laughs> so I want women to feel comfortable in my space and I want to feel comfortable I don't want to have to search for these things so we got some tampons we got some pads some wipes um, booty wipes and feminine wipes um, but yeah as you can tell I finally figured out how to fold those towels so that they could fit up there and look nice and then um, I just added one of the hand towels on um, the top Okay, there we go. And now I can actually take the tags off because I don't take the tags off stuff unless I am definite in my decision on where this is going and how it's going. So I'll be taking the tag off shortly because they are here to stay. Thank you. 
Okay, now it's time to handle this trash. So I actually <laughs> was on my cycle uh, while I was recording this video. So that's why you probably see a little something in the trash can. But that's okay. Because like I said, I'm a woman and I'm not ashamed of it. Um, the tissue, it looked a little low. But don't worry, baby. We stay stacked. So that's getting replaced before this video ends. And the little trash bags that I use, I get them from Target. But um, these are the scented ones. I think they have like Febreze or something. I don't know. But I don't. I just like for it to smell good. Now here, um, I bought a little paper towel holder off Amazon like I said I'll link it below um, and you can put it you know many different ways I was just trying to figure out how I wanted to place it here um, and I ended up putting it um, vertically just so it would be easier you know to snatch the paper towels off of because I have the same one in my kitchen and I have it hung horizontally but when you pull it off so many come off so that was a mistake but you know you live and you learn And this is adhesive as well, so um, you just peel the backing off of the sticker that already comes on it. I'm showing you here, and then you just press it into the wall. Make sure you rub it down so the adhesive actually sticks, um, and let it, you know, marinate for a minute so it actually, you know, is there for a good time and a long time. <laughs> Okay, so my sink is pretty simple. Like, I don't really keep anything too intricate up here. You just see a lot of stuff right there because the shelf that I hang later on in the video is not hung yet. But I keep a little fake plant that I got from Target. Something real impulsive because, honestly, I probably didn't need it. But I liked it and I actually bought two. <laughs> um, I use the CeraVe cleanser. So I keep that up there. Um, you know, my toothpaste and toothbrush, some cotton pads, um, Q-tips, soap. Uh, Listerine some basic stuff oh and I keep a little tray of um what is that chapsticks or like lip therapy stuff Carmex stuff like that if y'all can hear the kids in my neighborhood I'm so sorry <laughs> Like I said, when I was cleaning the shower, once I'm done washing everything down, I like to rinse out my rag with hot water and just wipe everything and all the extra products and stuff off. Now we're just putting everything back up there. Like I said, the plant and my CeraVe, my cotton pads and Q-tips, my Listerine, toothbrush, toothpaste, and my soap. This is the Mahogany Teak Wood from Bath & Body Works. That is my favorite scent of all if you ever wanted to know. Um, this shelf I bought from Home Goods. It was $19.99. Um, when I visioned it in store, um, I wanted like my skincare and like daily products to be on there. Even though I have a medicine cabinet, I don't know. I just don't see myself really using it. So this is something I can just look over, get what I need, use it, put it back and move on. Um, I was leveling here, trying to make sure that <laughs> things wouldn't fall off. Um, and then I just measured, you know, where the, um, the nails or the screws were gonna go. 
I can't remember if this came with screws or if I picked some up, but I believe I went to Home Depot or Lowe's. No, it was Lowe's. So I went to Lowe's and I bought like this wall anchor for drywall. So it had a wall anchor and screws. So I ended up using that um, to hang this up. And then for the picture, I ended up using just a regular picture hook. So yeah. Here you see that was the anchor and then it has a screw um, that you screw into it as well. And girl, yes, I'm handy. I have my own drill, my own drill bits. You'll see it in another vlog, but I hung my own TV on the wall. So kudos to your girl, Keisha the Builder. She's out here, hire me. <laughs> and actually, this is later in the day because my outfit changed. I had went out <laughs> to go to brunch with one of my friends. There's my drill. I got this from Target. I'll link it below. Um, it's Blue Ridge 12 Voltage. Um, but yeah, I had to put my hair up. I had to think of something real quick because I went to brunch with my homegirl in the city. Yeah, I see a little slight beat. <laughs> So now I'm just hanging the shelf on the wall. You do have to leave a little bit of the screw unscrewed into the wall so that you can put it on there. Uh, just because of how, where you have to put the screws at on the shelf are placed. Uh, and then I'm just, you know, screwing it in all the way so it's secure to the wall and it doesn't move. Okay, so now you see me putting my products up there. Um, this is not how it currently is. I actually have reorganized it to where like my um, deodorant and body serum and body lotion um, and masks are on the top shelf and then the bottom shelf just has all of my skincare products in order of my skincare routine. So um, my oil cleansers, my toners, um, my peel wipes, um, any, my enzyme scrub and um, moisturizers, lip masks, um, vitamin E oil, tea tree oil, stuff like that. Now I'm just hanging up my little picture that I got from Home Goods. I think this was probably like $9.99. Um, and it's just a cute little picture with some little flower outlines. And I had to take my makeup off, girl, because doing all of this with a beat face, it was getting to be too much for me. Here's a little overview. Like I said, this actually is how I have it set up now. So I just have it, you know, lined up according to how I do my um, skincare. And of course, I'll add to this collection because I'm trying to get into skincare, but that's a whole nother video. We'll talk about it later. All right, don't forget to sweep your bathroom. We need to get up all the hair and the dust and the lint and all the nastiness throughout the week. I'm actually washing my rugs as I'm doing this. So those were out drying. I'm trying to get the shot, but I'm trying to like not be in the shot. Y'all see me. <laughs> 
I use these Clorox Sentiva wipes with my Swiffer and I mop. Even though I don't wear shoes in my house and I don't have people wear shoes in my house, it's not, you know, really dirty. I didn't show you the pad at the end, but it was actually clean. <laughs> but, you know, you still gotta get the little germs up out of there. Y'all see how sparkling uh, underneath my toilet is? I told y'all I don't play. We clean the bottom of our toilet. Okay, so my rugs are dry, so I'm just putting those back down. These I did get from Home Goods as well. It came in a set, so this one and the one for my toilet. I believe it was probably like $15, maybe more or less. I'm not really sure. I took the tag off before I recorded this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Okay, so here's just a little overview of the bathroom cleaning situation. So we have my shower. Like I said, these are all the products that I use on a daily or weekly basis as far as body wash, uh, feminine care, uh, body scrub. My hair stuff isn't in here because that is a hot mess. <laughs> but my African I love that. I was using a black washcloth because like I said, I was on my womanly cycle it was shark week during this video so we don't use white towels for that and then here is a little feminine um tray i added some more pads and stuff to it and the towels they came out so good i'm so happy um i do have a shelf and a picture frame for this now so you'll see those updates in future vlogs as well all right guys we have come to the end of the video thank you so much for watching again if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you comment like and share this video and we will see you in the next one bye